Hi everybody. So we are going to continue our learning about adding decimals and today we're going to work on adding two place decimals. So we're going to start off with some pretty straightforward problems. So here I have 1.67 plus 3.24. So when you're adding two place decimals, you want to make sure that you can line the two decimals up perfectly by lining up the decimal points and I'll show you how to do that. So if I have 1.67 I'm going to write that one like that. I'm going to add a plus. Now when I go to write 3.24, I really want to make sure that my decimal points are lined up. So I'm going to make sure the 3 is under the 1, that the decimal point is under the other decimal point, and then 2, 4. Once I get the setup right, adding them is just like adding numbers that aren't decimals, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So 7 plus 4 is 11, so I put the 1 down here, and I regroup the other one into the tenth into the tenths place, just like I would if I was adding numbers that weren't decimals. So 6 plus 2 is 8, and we have one more up here, so that makes it 9. And then here I have 1 plus 3, which is 4. I want to bring the decimal point straight down into my answer. So I'm going to bring it right down here between the 4 and 9. My answer is 4.91. This one, very similar type of problem but it was already written out for me vertically. I didn't have to do any lining up, which is nice. So I'm going to start over here. 8 plus 4 is 12, so I'm going to put the 2 there and carry the 1 over. 6 plus 9 is 15, plus 1 more is 16, so I'll put the 6 here and regroup that 1 over here. 4 plus 2 is 6, plus 1 more is 7. And then just like before, I want to make sure I bring that decimal point right down, so it's going to come right down between my 7 and 6 in my answer. One way to check if you brought the decimal into the right place is to just think logically to yourself. I'm adding two and something and four and something, so it makes sense that I would get seven and some extra. If I had brought the decimal over here, for example, and had an answer of 76, I would logically know that that didn't make sense. So you can always check your work that way. So now we're going to look at some different problems. So here, for example, I have 0 0.32 plus 0 0.5. The problem here is that this decimal goes two places past the decimal point, and this one only goes one place past the decimal point. When you have this situation, you want to adjust this one so that it also goes two places past the decimal point, and you do that by adding a zero. Now when I go to write them, they're going to line up perfectly, which will make my work a little bit easier. So 0 0.32 plus 0 0.50. And remember, we can do that because 5 tenths and 50 hundredths are the same thing. 2 plus 0 is 2. 5 plus 3 is 8. 0 plus 0 is 0. And then I just bring that decimal point straight down. And I end up with 0 0.82 in my answer. Here I have a very similar problem. So 0 0.34 plus 0 0.8. I want to add a zero here to make this 80, hundred, 80 hundredths instead of 8 tenths because I want to have the same number of places past the decimal point. Okay, so 4 plus 0 is 4, but 3 plus 8 is 11. So I'm going to have one here and then I'm going to bring that other one over. 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1, and then I just want to bring that decimal point straight down, so I end up with 1.14. And then in my last problem, this is just another way you might see the problem written out in words and telling you what to add, but same kind of thing. I notice that this problem has two places after the decimal, and this one only has one, so I'm going to add that 0 so that they go the same number of places past the decimal point, and then I'm going to start lining them up. 2 plus 0 is 2, 4 plus 9 is 13, so I'm going to then bring the 1 over, and then 1, 0, and 0 is 1, and I bring that decimal point straight down, so I end up with 1.32. Now this is a slightly different problem, and there are a couple different ways you could think about this. Here I have 0 0.63 or 6300 plus 2 holes. Now, some of you might just be able to do this mentally. You might be able to say, okay, well, here I have zero holes. I'm adding two holes to zero, so my answer would be 2.63. And that is the right answer. 
If that isn't as easy for you and you want to add them and line them up, I don't have any decimal point here, but I know that in whole numbers, the decimal point comes after the number. So even though we don't write that, it's kind of there in secret when we need it. This number goes two places past the decimal point, which means I'm gonna make this number have two places past the decimal point. Now I can line them up. Three plus zero is three, six plus zero is six, zero plus two is two, decimal point is straight down. So whether you're doing it mentally or you wanna line it up, you're gonna get the same answer. I want you to pause the video now and give these four problems a try on your own and then come back when you're ready and we'll go over the answers. Okay, so hopefully you finished working on these four problems. Let's see how you did. So this is a straightforward one because they both have the same number of places past the decimal. Four plus seven is 11, so bring the one over. Three plus two is five, plus one is six. Zero plus zero is zero. Bring that decimal straight down, so you should have a 0 0.61. Now this one, you might have noticed here you only have one place past the decimal, and here you have two. So you need to add a zero to make it a little bit easier to line up. And then you can add. Six plus zero is six. Five plus four is nine. Zero plus zero is zero. Decimal point comes straight down. This problem is like the one we did up here. So you might have just done it mentally, or if you wanted to write it out, you might have written 5.00 plus 0 0.19 and gotten 5.19. And then over here, these both go two places past the decimal, so I don't need to add anything to them. Just need to line them up. 7 plus 3 is 10, so I'm going to put the 0 down here and bring the 1 over. 1 plus 3 plus 0 is 4. 0 plus 0 is 0. Decimal point comes straight down. So you can check your work with those four problems. So now you're going to go into your workbook. And for independent work today, you're going to work on page 50 and 51. Good luck.